how to draw the involute of a circle. Hello everyone and welcome to PE Academy. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw the involute of a circle. So before we get into the video, if you are new to PA Academy or you are yet to subscribe, please, please, please take out time now to click on the subscribe button just below this video. You see that red button with the subscribe written on it. Please click on it and the little bell icon beside it. And subscribing is absolutely free, so you have nothing to worry about. So just go ahead and click on subscribe button to subscribe to PA Academy. So thank you very much if you have just done that. And let me know in the comment section if you have just subscribed. So just comment something saying like maybe you have subscribed and I'm going to reply you. All right, so let's get into this, uh, this video. So how to draw the involute of a circle. So to start with, we are going to need a circle and we are going to be using a circle with a radius of 1.5. So I'll bring in my compass and my ruler and I'm going to measure uh, 1.5. All right, so I already have my compass to be on 1.5. So I can go ahead and have, draw the circle. So it's also important to know that irrespective of the radius of the circle that you are using, uh, the step is still the same thing. It's still the same thing. So now I already have my circle. So the next thing is to divide the circle into equal number of parts. So I'm going to be dividing it into eight. So and uh, by the way, if you want to know how to divide a circle into any equal number of parts, so just check the playlist on technical drawing. Uh, you'll find a video where I, I explained how to divide a circle into any equal uh, number of parts. So there are about two videos that I explained that. So you'll find it on that playlist on technical and engineering drawing. So in dividing this into eight, I'm going to that will be as 45 degrees apart. So I'm going to be marking as 45. So this is 45 plus another 45 degrees. That's 90 degrees. Then at 135 degrees. So I haven't done that. So already have it divided into eight. So let's, this is one zero, one. Okay, let me count it. This one zero one two, three, four, five, six. So this is seven. Then back to back to point eight. So let's call this side point eight. So now I've divided it into eight equal parts. So what I'm going to do next is. From this point that is 1, I'm going to draw a line that is perpendicular to it at a unit of 1. So I'm going to be using, at, the difference is going to be at the same unit. I'm going to be using 1 unit. So just watch along, you are going to understand what I'm saying. So as a line that is perpendicular, so from this point where I'm having 1, so make sure the line is perpendicular to 1. So if, if you are not too sure, you can use your uh, protractor. So this is 1. And then from two, so measure two centimeter up. So three, from point three, I'm going to be measuring three centimeter. So this is one, two, three. So four now. One, two, three, four. Then five. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So now for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So for that of seven. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then for that of eight. So this is for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So let me rub this off. This is the diameter that I extended. Alright. So the next thing is we are going to be joining these points now. So the end of these lines from this is for two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then eight. So by the time we join it, that's going to give us the involute. So that so now in doing that, I'm going to be bringing in my uh, French curve, so I'm going to be using the French curve to join those points together. So that's it for the one side. So next thing is to join point three, four, five, just like that, and then we keep joining it like that. So make sure when you are joining it is very bold because the involute is what we actually need. So gradually we are having our involute. So from this point we are currently on point five. Okay. So this is what it's currently looking like. I had to turn it because of space. So I've gone ahead to join the other part, so that's how you go about it when you are asked to draw an involute. And before you go, so now that you already know how to draw an involute, in the next part of this video I'm going to be showing you how to draw a tangent to the involute of a circle. So if you have an involute or you are asked to draw an involute and also draw a tangent from a point. So I'm going to be showing you that in the next part of this video. So if you watch this video to the end, that next part, that part is going to be showing up somewhere here on your screen. So once you just click on it, it will take you to that part that will show you how to draw the involute of a circle. So if you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any question or any comment, uh, do let me know in the comment section below. And also, I want you to also check the description of this video. You are going to find uh, the link to other videos like uh, like this, maybe on how to draw a cycloid, a epicycloid, a, a parabola, a parabola, helix, you know, and their tangent. So if you watch the part two and you also check the description, you'll find the links to other videos uh, like this. Also, you can also check our playlist on technical drawing for more videos on that technical drawing and engineering drawing so just check the playlist it's called um, technical and engineering drawing and you can also check our website paacademy.co paacademy.co so with that i'll see you all in the part two of this video which will be coming up somewhere here thank you